All right, here's the 1987 Monte Carlo Aero Coupe. This car came out of uh, middle Alabama. Has been there pretty much most of his life. It's got good driver quality paint. This is a good entry level Aero Coupe for somebody. Um, it is not perfect and we'll point those things out. Again, you guys know the drill. We try to disclose everything we see. Car mostly has original paint. This front nose cone was repainted. It has some stress cracks in it and we painted it just to make it look better. Um, but the rest of the car, to the best of my knowledge, is all original paint. There is a little bit of swirling. It's a black car. Um, there's a couple of small imperfections that I'm going to show you on the other side. But nothing really to note here. Typical uh, stress cracks in the lacquer. A little bit of uh, tar tree sap. Little spot there. There's a couple. There's a chip here in the paint. Couple of small ones in the door. And that little rock ding there. But this car presents really well, runs down the street really well. Little gap in the stripe kit there. Let's take a look at the inside of the car. Biggest thing with this car is it is, again, an Alabama car, rust-free aero coupe. Interior is faded. Again, typical stuff. It's got good carpet. It does have, uh, I don't know if that's a coverlay, Accuform, one of those guys, one of those, uh, full dash covers that covers it end to end. Um, it was custom matched to the car. Um, it looks good and was professionally installed. No rust in the doors. No rust in the bottom of the doors. And it's gonna be the same on the passenger side. As you can see, my lifts stay full. Um, I've had this car up when we ran through it and didn't happen to video it. If I do get a chance, I'll put it up. But the floors, the frame on this car are absolutely perfect. Let's go down the doors again. Let's get you up underneath. Again, this is just a beautifully solid car all right let's see if she pops off um, without jumping in sure did Let's take a look up underneath the hood. Bone stock car, 305, working AC. It's nice and solid up under there. I'm not sure what they did here. Um, I don't know if it's silver paint or chipping paint, but there is no rust. Let's take a look in the trunk as well. Let's get a look at the deck lid here. Deck lid is super nice and solid. No rust or, rust or rot. Spare tire still there. Trunk is nice on that car. Okay, guys, let's take a look up underneath the hood. It is a bone stock 305. All the AC components are there. Um, the AC actually works in this car. As I said, it came out of Alabama. <laughs> I 
I don't know if that's chipping paint or silver paint. But. All right, guys, I am driving the 1987 Aero Coupe. Car runs really well, fires right up, no issues. As you can see, that service engine light is on. I couldn't tell you why. It's an 87. Um, the car runs fantastic. You can see the dash cover. Looks pretty good. Car runs, steers, stops just like it should. Sounds good. Shifts through all the gears. As you can see, I'm running 70. 70, 75 right now. The gas gauge does work. I just put gas in the car. Um, temp gauge does not seem to work. Pretty normal. Um, and the tack works on this one. Even though I think when the car is off, it sits down below zero. Um, but that's the car in a nutshell. Runs, drives really well. Exactly like you'd expect a G-Body to. She's been uh, sitting in a garage for some years. So there's a bit of a flat spot in the tires that should come out with some driving, um, but no dry rot whatsoever. Plenty of tread on them. Um, and it's a very minor flat spot. So I'm definitely of the belief that it's gonna come right out. But that's it in a nutshell. Um, let's go turn signals. They're working on both sides, but the uh, right side indicator inside the car does not work. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, um, but they are flashing at the correct speed. And we verified all the bulbs on the outside of the car. Heat is currently on and working. Uh, radio does not work. So that's it for the test drive, 1987 Chevy Monte Carlo Aero Coupe.